About five or six years ago, our current superintendent, Chad Erickson, was in student services, and he had the idea to begin the student support rooms in various schools across our district. And at that time, the rooms looked like a larger classroom space for connection and regulation, but also a couple smaller spaces, one as a calming area for kids that just need a quiet break and a place to go and sit, and then a place to let out big emotions. So that wasn't happening in the classroom. Every day is different, but on average we have 35 to 40 students that probably run through our room each day. The students come for a variety of reasons. We have students that are coming for scheduled breaks that have been prearranged with teachers. We have students that are coming in that are dysregulated um, for whatever reason. We have students coming in that need a quiet space to work, students that might need a snack, students that need um, to move their bodies. So there's always a number of students that are coming in for a variety of reasons. Majority of our time is spent connecting with the students. So when they come in, we are looking to identify what they need. And that might be playing a game with an adult. It might be playing a game with a small group. It could be imaginative play. Some of our students are drawing, some are reading books, some are having a snack, but it's all about connecting and regulating with the ultimate goal of returning to the classroom, being able to reconnect with their teacher, reconnecting with their peers so that they can continue and have a successful day. Student support rooms have had a huge impact on the way our office functions um, for a number of reasons. The main one is we have another person on our team with our support room teacher. And what that means is she's able to help support students in another way. So things like helping students regulate when they're dysregulated instead of them having to come to the office. What I would say is more importantly is the preventative piece. So when students have a chance to uh, catch themselves before they get dysregulated in order to stay in the classrooms and function better there. It has really changed the dynamic of the office space. I've definitely seen our schools are a much calmer place to be for students with the implementation of support rooms. What we have is a safe place for students to go for regulation. That means that we have calmer classrooms, calmer hallways, a calmer office space for all students to have a better opportunity to learn. We're currently in the process of visiting our 18 schools with student support rooms. Those are located in schools that are K to eight. Schools are sharing wonderful things about the impact the student support rooms are having on their buildings and how they've quickly become an integral part of their space. We're so glad that there's a place for students to go where they can connect, where they can regulate, and then move on with their day in a positive way.